Hey, hey, it's me again. More reviews are slapping their way into your face hole. That's right, I am back again. Jelly is back again with more reviews in more than five minutes. Five reviews in that fact. Five reviews of TV shows in that fact. There's so many facts in this that I am telling you about them. And now I'm turning around and still trying to look at the camera. It's really hard. But just like last time, I got a cheat sheet. I, I can look at what I'm reviewing. Pretty crazy. I mean, why would you want to know what you're reviewing? I sure don't, obviously. So prepared, I got a pen. I got a TV show pen because our TV shows are full of facts and TV and shows. And I am tapping something that you can't see and are probably wondering what it is. And I'm not going to tell you because I have a pen in my hand and you should be focused on that. And if you're not focused on that, then you're focused on my rambling. And you're not focused on either of those things. You're focused on something that I'm not going to tell you. Wow, those were a lot of words in a short period of time. Okay, the first TV show, Cheat Sheet, is The Simpsons. Oh, The Simpsons. Everyone likes The Simpsons. I hope. Next is the ever popular and rather funny and sometimes dramatic scientific show of the Big Bang Theory. Next on our Wonder Bar full list is Top Gear, the UK one. The cool one, not the America one. That one sucks. And two that are going to be kind of hard to review, but either way, I'm still doing them. It's The Tonight Show, now not starring Jay Leno and starring Jimmy Fallon, who moved from Late Night, which is now starring Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Myers. Just kidding, Seth Myers, not Jeff. Jeff had no play in this. Jeff, are you still in the basement? Yes, you better be still in that basement, Jeff. I'm keeping you there forever. And last but not least, and even more hard now, nah, I was almost bad at grammar, but I prevented myself by not even finishing it. The harder to review, Saturday Night Live, which has nothing to do with a British accent at all. Okay, well, I probably need to stall more because this might not actually be five minutes because I'm talking too quickly. Let's just wait here for five seconds. I wasn't kidding. Oh, it's recording. Oh. I'm such a good recorder. I'm not even looking at the camera. Now I am. Maybe a close-up will help this situation. No? You don't want to see my eye that's looking the other way? No? No? Okay. Okay. I hear your voices. Like, when I'm recording, I can just, like, it's as if you're watching it as you are now, and it's, like, going into my head, and it's like a screw, and it's obviously going into my temples, because that's for some reason where screws are going. That would be painful. Pro tip from Jelly, don't put screws in your head. Anywho. Uh, anywho. I love that word. So, first up. The Simpsons. Da 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 da. I tap that thing again that you don't know what it is. I'm not gonna still tell you. The Simpsons is an animated TV show about a yellow like the they're everyone there is yellow like their the color art styles makes everyone yellow. I hope you know what this is. It's like the movie one where I had to explain Frozen. Do you really not? this is? I mean, it's The Simpsons, for God's sakes. It's like the longest-running TV show in history. Obviously, that makes it pretty good and pretty funny, and I like watching it. Even though it was even more hilarious a while ago, it's, it, it's good. It's very good. It's a thumbs up. Next is The Big Bang Cheat Sheet Theory. Oh, I almost forgot. The Big Bang Theory is a show about the adventures of a group of scientists and a hot girl who lives across the way. Wow, that was a bad description of that TV show. But also, it's like the number one comedy or something on TV right now. It's pretty good. I don't know if it's that good. Is it really that good? 
Is it? Is it? Is it? Now it's Top Gear UK! Top Gear is a show about cars, and it's about three people. I have Jeremy Clarkson, James May, and Richard Hammond, who go around and do absolutely hilarious things with cars. Like, they do sort of races, you know, just generally, you know. There's not much else to say about this. It's just sort of what it is, and if you don't get what I'm saying, just go watch it. It's really, it's funny. It's on BBC. It's a British show. If you couldn't tell by the fact that I said UK and pretty much every time I've mentioned this show, I start talking in a British accent. But that's alright. I like British accents when I talk in them. Now The Tonight Show, now starring Jimmy Fallon and not Jay Leno. I specifically say not Jay Leno because if you didn't hear, Jay Leno recently left The Tonight Show and retired to his barn full of cars. And now Jimmy Fallon is running the place. Not a half bad gig, I must say. Every one of the shows, it starts with a monologue where he reads off stuff that's really funny. And then he does, like, a thing. It varies, he tells like a story sometimes, and then he gets a guest, and then he does something else, and then he gets a guest, and then there's a musical performance, and the thing ends. And it changes pretty much every time. Obviously, or else it'd just be the same show running over and over. And no one would watch that. And last but not least, the thing that if you've never heard of, even more so than The Simpsons, and were frozen from last time, you have literally been sitting under a rock for your whole existence. Like, this is you, if you haven't heard of what I'm about to say. And here's a rock. That's just what you've been doing for the past, like, 25 years. Yep. Oh, I bet that suspense is killing you. It's Saturday Night Live! My eye! But Saturday Night Live is a show where they get a bunch of skits and each time I tap that thing again, have a guest star. And that guest star is in some of the skits that they do. And they just do a bunch of hilarious skits that sometimes get really popular, sometimes aren't that funny, and sometimes make you laugh your pants so hard that those pants that you're laughing at are just gone out the window. And on fire. Yeah. Description of the year, 2014, 10 out of 10. Anyway, now it's time for the rating party! Woo, 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 rate, rate, let's rate these things that I was talking about. What we're doing this time to rate stuff, I bet you're curious. It's moon pies. We're rating on a scale of 1 to 10 moon pies. The Simpsons gets 7 moon pies. Because sometimes it's not that funny. And flat out, sometimes it's just not that funny. But sometimes it is, and that's why it's getting seven of them. So, thumbs up. The Big Bang Theory, another drum roll, and now I'm rubbing my face, gets... Five out of ten moon pies! It is that because sometimes it's a little too dramatic and not enough funny, and sometimes just kind of stupid. But I do find it funny at times, and I regularly watch it, so, you know, half is, half is half. I mean, it's half good, half bad, but mostly good, even though my rating system would not tell you that the moon pies, they're, they're it's all in the moon pies. Now, for the first time, I'm saying it not in the British accent, Top Gear! Sounds kind of funny to not say it in the British accent, to be completely honest. Top Gear gets a third drum roll. Also 7 out of 10 moon pies. Because I like it. But a lot of people don't, so I think it would upset people if I gave it anything higher. So yeah. Now, The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon and not Jane Leno. A fourth drum roll. 6 
out of 10 moon pies. Because sometimes I can get kind of boring. Or, you know, sometimes... Well, you know what I mean if you saw it. Don't worry. 6 out of 10 moon pies, I think is pretty fair. Now for Saturday Night Live. Because it's been around for so long and is typically... Like I said, your pants are going to fall off hilarious. Saturday Night Live will be the first thing on 5 reviews in more than 5 minutes to get 10 out of 10. Congratulations, Saturday Night Live. Woo! Oh, this would be so, more, so much more effective if I had something to make a loud noise with. Ooh, a stapler! There you go! Okay, guys, that's it for today. It's a wrap. That was not a wrap, but I'm wrapping it up, y'all. Yeah! I appreciate your reviewing. Vote in the comments what I should be reviewing next. Make sure to watch more Peanut Butter, Peanut Butter Brothers while I mess up and try to tap that thing that I still haven't told you what it is. It's my phone that I'm trying to keep awake because something's, like, uploading another video. Like, comment, and most of all, subscribe to the Peanut Butter Brothers YouTube channel. I'll see you later, blutters. It's not gonna work. Not gonna work. One day you'll give us something. One day.